Now, from across the Tri-States, this is KHQA Sports. Well, a lot of good tennis and volleyball in the Tri-States tonight, but remember we have a tailgate party to give away for our KHQA Subway Game of the Week this week. As we told you at 6 o'clock, we are headed to Iowa, where Williamsburg comes to town 5-1 and one against the 3-3 three and three Keokuk Chiefs. And for your chance to win a tailgate party for you and 19 friends, here's the trivia question that you have to answer. We're going to throw it back to one of Keokuk's most famous alums, James Vandenberg, and we want to ask you how many touchdown passes did James Vandenberg throw in his senior year as a Keokuk Chief? Now, all you have to do is is call that number you see on your screen, leave the answer, your name, and we will get back to you if you are a big winner. So good luck to everybody. Somebody out there is going to win a tailgate party on Friday night before the big Williamsburg Keokuk game out there on Friday. Good luck, everybody. Let's go ahead and take you to some volleyball action. It was Brown County hosting West Central today, and it was West Central taking the first set 25 to 14. So the second set, very good serving from Victoria Miller. She got on a good run. Cougars up by eight points at that part of the game, but Hornets, they would rally. Here they are down 19-12. Nicole Brown, just a nice little push into the back corner there. Hornets storming back. They were down by three at this point. It's Cheyenne Granger getting her team down 2017. They came within two after that. But then the Cougars were able to hold off the charge. The set for Miller from Haley Brown. She doesn't miss as she puts it away. West Central wins tonight 2 to nothing, 25-14, 25-18. But for Brown County, Jenna Yingling had three aces and Madison Rissman had four kills to go along with it. How about some other volleyball scores to give you from the area tonight? We'll start off with Payson Seymour downing Unity 2 to nothing. Also, this just came in Griggsville Perry 2 nothing over North Green. It was Pittsfield being blanked by West Hancock. Madison Harmon does it all tonight. 14 assists, 2 kills, 2 blocks. Good night for her. Also, Liberty 2 nothing over Meridosha Chambersburg. Katie Klaus and Brooke Wewell each with 8 kills in that one. And by the way, happy birthday, Brooke Wewell. 16th birthday today, so we'll see you out there on the road. Also, Hannibal blanks Troy 2 to nothing as well as they continue their hot streak. Let's go ahead and take you to some crosstown rivalry tennis today. QHS and Q&D. The Devils won the first meeting this season. Here we are at number one singles. That's QHS's Katie Fauble. First volley doesn't go. The second one, she gets it by Kristen Tracy. Later, she would take an early lead in this match. Tracy on serve. Fauble's going to rip the top spin winner into the back corner there. She would win her match. And then we go to number two singles. It was QHS senior Ali Schwartz going against Q&D's Olivia Tracy. These guys played some really nice rallies today. I love the ground strokes from Tracy here. But eventually, it's going to come to the net. Schwartz draws them both in, and she would get the left-handed shot down the line for the winner. As QHS takes five of six singles, matches today. They are 14 and four on the season. They win it today. Six matches to three over Q&D and they will start Western Big Six play on Saturday at all in. I'll up a look, couple other local scores to give you. Start off Beardstown Boys Soccer loses 2-0. Springfield Lutheran Monroe City wins 2-0 over West Strand. Bailey Sinclair a double in that one. Carly Spaulding also stole, stole home for the first run. Mark Twain 9-2 winner over Van Farr. It was Palmyra over Hannibal 17-1. Marceline over South Shelby 3-1. Canton Extra or a seventh inning winner from Courtney Ballman makes it 10 to 9 there. It was Louisiana 16 to nothing over Montgomery County. North Shelby blanks Marion County 11 to nothing and Scotland County over Schuyler County by a final of 4 to 2. Well, finally tonight, nobody likes to tie, especially if it's between QHS and QND. Now, such was the case, however, back on September 4th when the boys' soccer teams played to a 1 1 draw. For QHS, that was the only game they didn't win in the month of September. Their 11 game win streak can be contributed in part to the comeback of Jason Ebbing in the net after he sustained a concussion in August. And along the way, the Blue Devils began to play as a team after a two game losing streak early on. Tomorrow night, they hope their hot streak will give them better than a tie this time around. The first few games, we were young, we were inexperienced, like we didn't really, never really played with each other. And the more we've played each other with each other, like the stronger we've gotten. And it's really just come down to the fact that we're playing with each other and as a team instead of just like an in individual person. We just come together so much as a team. I mean, our team focus is incredible. I can't like, we just become kind of like a brotherhood, like like a pact almost. I think a lot of things that we did after the uh, the first Notre Dame game and the East Moline game and the St. Ignatius game, we, we sat down, we really went after it at practice and we learned a lot about ourselves and we learned to, to look at the, not at the name in the back on a shirt, but the front of the shirt and say that's who you're playing for. Tying is never fun, like you either want to lose or you want to win. And that's a motivated, like a motivated factor for us because we want to come out like obviously we want to win and stuff and then that happens and it just kind of like 
shut you down. Hopefully since the last game we will show up and play a little bit better, but if not, we'll, we know that every time we step on the field we're going to give 100% effort and whatever the outcome is, we'll live with it and hopefully learn learn from our mistakes and learn from what we did good and move on from there. Obviously the last community game, it was a little bit hazy for all of us and then after that we came together as a team. We have a streak going right now, we have our confidence built up. We're not coming in too cocky, but we're not being too careful either. So we're going to go in there, it's going to be a good game and we're not going to let up one second.